Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're finally going to be testing and reviewing the brand new Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder. I have had so many requests from you guys to test and review this powder. Apparently, it's amazing. So this one is advertised as a mineral-based formula that will help control shine. Yeah, girl. Yep, and smooth skin's texture, lightweight translucent coverage, fresh natural look can be used alone or over foundation. This is apparently like the drugstore heaven scent powder. So yeah, what we're going to be doing today is applying it to my skin. We're going to have a really close look at the formula and the feel and the weight and the texture and all of that of the product. Then I'm going to be wearing it all day long. So I'm going to be wearing it all day today on top of this cream highlighting and contouring to see how it goes. And then tomorrow I'm going to be wearing it all day over the top of my most beloved Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. That is my Holy Grail foundation because I want to see how it goes with that one. So if you're interested in hearing about the new Maybelline Loose Fit Me Powder and whether or not it works on oily skin, then please keep on watching. Okay, so like I said, I've got two colors in this one. I've got number 20 light medium and number 25 medium. I feel like light medium might be better. So this is what the packaging of this one looks like. You do get 20 grams of product in there. On the back it says to use, apply with a brush, swirl brush into powder, tap off excess and lightly dust over the face. Okay, sure. It's obviously got a little sifter like most powders do. I'll just remove the little sticker. Now this one will cost you $7.99 that's US dollars hasn't actually landed here in Australia yet knowing the way the market is normally we're probably not going to get it until 2050 I was able to purchase it online so if you're in Australia you'll be able to get it online as well I'll leave links down below okay so now that the lids off um, that's starting to come through it is quite dark actually like I expected a light medium color to be a little bit lighter than that oh it might be okay oh my gosh it feels very powdery very very velvety Oh, wow. Really, really, really finely milled, this one. Oh my gosh, I'm excited! And the sifter on this is pretty good. I had to bang pretty hard then to get that amount of product into the cap. So what we're going to do, I think on this side of my face, I'm going to apply it with a damp beauty blender sponge. If you are new here to my channel, I do this a lot with loose translucent setting powders because it just makes them last so much longer during the day. So I've picked up a bit of that powder. Oh, it's a We'll see how it goes. And I'm going to use this underneath this eye. Oh, that looks quite smooth on the skin, actually. Oh my gosh. Okay, that's really blurred out that under eye area. I'll zoom you guys in so you can see. Dang! Okay, so this is where I've just applied that powder. It feels very soft and velvety. And look at it in comparison to this eye. See, I can see all the texture under that eye, but you can't really see any texture here at all. That is impressive. Okay, I'm gonna keep going and keep setting that side of my face. Oh, wow. It really mattifies the skin and it really blurs out texture and fine lines. Tell you the truth, I went into this so skeptical and I'm a little surprised at how nice this looks on the skin. Like, look at the difference. So powder, no powder. I feel like this side of my face looks quite textured and quite like rough. I am impressed. All right, moving on to the other side of my face, I'm now going to pick the powder up on a brush. We're going to see how it goes with a brush. And we're going to follow the instructions on the back of the packet. So I'm taking the brush and I'm swirling it around in the powder. <coughs> to be honest, that just makes a big mess. And then using patting motions, I'm going to start to set this side of my face. I always use patting motions. If you use dragging or swirling motions and you're using a brush that's not quite soft enough or if you're using too much pressure, guess what you're going to do? You're going to wipe your foundation off. Yeah, okay, so it's working quite nicely with the brush as well. I do still think that it looks a lot smoother when applied with the damp beauty blender sponge. And we will zoom in again so that you can get a good look. I just feel like there's less texture under my eye on that side. So let's zoom in again. Okay, so applied with the brush and then applied with the sponge. I feel like this side just looks a lot smoother. What do you guys think? Let me know. Brush sponge. It looks pretty good though, nice and smooth. It doesn't look powdery or cakey on the skin. It looks quite natural. As I said, it's got a really smooth velvety finish. So far so good. So what I'm going to do now is go about the rest of my day. I am going to apply the rest of my makeup so that I don't look so one color. And then we're going to do check-ins and then I'm also going to give you my final thoughts after day one of where tonight. And then, yeah, we're going to be testing it again tomorrow. So I will talk to you guys very soon. All right, so I just wanted to pop in and do my first check-in. I've been wearing this makeup for two hours now. 
Honestly, this powder looks gorgeous. And I mean, for $7, $8, whatever it is, like, can you even deal? <laughs> it still feels very smooth on the skin. It hasn't gotten cakey at all. Um, I'm not starting to get oily, but I'm not really too concerned about this powder so much controlling oils or preventing oil production. It's not what it's marketed for. It's meant to give the skin a matte finish, but at the same time look, um, you know, realistic on the skin. And I do think that it is achieving that. So yeah, so far I am really, really quite happy. Like, I do feel like it looks really nice. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments what you think it looks like at this point. I think it looks good. So yeah, I will see you guys in probably another five hours. Yeah. Bye. All right, so back again for my final check-in for day one. I have been wearing this makeup now for about eight hours, and honestly, my skin is looking good. I'm going to zoom you in. Oh, and I've ripped off my eyelashes. <laughs> Ain't nobody got time for that when they're feasting. All right, so here is my skin close-up. <laughs> I've rubbed off all of my lipstick. Um, I am shiny, but it looks really, really good. It's not like I'm not, like, super shiny. It's not cakey. It's not separating. It's not breaking up anywhere. I'm very impressed with this so far. What I'm going to do quickly now is see if I can mop up some of the oil on my T-zone with the powder and just see if it gets cakey when we do that because I'd be interested to see. Oh, look, it powders down really nicely. I hate to say it, and I know that it's early days, but I feel like this powder feels and looks and performs in a very similar way to the Laura Mercier um, Loose Translucent Powder. Like, it is so velvety smooth on the skin. It's so matte. It's not cakey or anything. Like, it looks good. And uh, first touch up has gone really, really well. You know what? For tomorrow's video, let's do half of the Laura Mercier Powder and half of the Maybelline one over top of Double Wear. Let's try that out. Because for day one, like, I am impressed normally powders like drugstore powders and things you know they break up and they separate and they look really cakey on my oily skin this stuff is nice so yep day one thumbs up i approve so far so i'll see you guys tomorrow for day two of testing hey guys okay so we're here for day two of testing now i have just applied a full face of makeup i'm um, up to the point of where i am ready to set i'll just quickly show you guys what i used so you know so started off prepped my skin with setting spray <gasps> You guys, this is my collaboration with Gerard Cosmetics that comes out soon. My very own setting spray. Launches Friday, 9 a.m. PST, Friday the 29th of September. I am dying. I've got another video all about it though, so we're going to just wait. We're going to hold the excitement. <laughs> I then used the Pores No More Primer by Dr. Brandt, another favorite of mine. Love this. Estee Lauder Double Wear. I don't feel like there are any surprises, so I've applied that and then finished up with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. So what we're going to do today for today's testing is apply the Maybelline Fit Me to this side of my face and then the Laura Mercier Loose Translucent Powder to this side. This powder here is my all-time holy grail, most loved and adored setting powder, especially for long-wearing makeup and for oily skin. So yeah, I want to see how the Maybelline Fit Me goes battling it off against this one. So I'm going to apply them how I always apply my powders same as I did yesterday on this side and I'm gonna press it into the skin with a sort of semi damp beauty blender sponge oh it really gets rid of texture like it looks so smooth oh actually totally forgot to mention I also applied a little of the Fenty Beauty match stick in the color mocha I'm um, just did some kind of light contouring with it totally forgot sorry Oh my gosh, it makes your skin look so smooth. Not a huge fan of the packaging. I gotta tell you, it's quite messy. Um, that is one thing I will say. Okay, so I've applied the Maybelline Fit Me to this side of my face. It looks so much smoother on this side than this side. Oh. Okay, going in with the Laura Mercier Loose Translucent Powder. Now, obviously, both of these powders have a translucent finish. The Laura Mercier one, obviously, um, is quite a bit lighter. So starting under the eye, exactly the same. Pressing it up the side of the nose. The side of my face might even look a little bit lighter. Just because the Laura Mercier, um, it is so light. I do want to purchase um, more of the Maybelline powder in lighter colors. I'm going to do that today because so far, like, my titties are shook. Funnily enough, I mean, I adore the Laura Mercier and it can look a little powdery when you first apply it, but I don't mind because it lasts so long and it stays so matte during the day. I kind of feel like this side is looking a little cakier 
Oh my god, I didn't expect that. Okay, let's zoom in and have a close look. Okay, so this is the side with the Maybelline powder. I feel like it looks really smooth. It feels very velvety. There's no creasing, there's no caking. It looks beautiful. And then this is the side with the Laura Mercier powder. What do you guys think? They both feel exactly the same. Like to the touch, they both feel smooth and velvety. But I'm kind of feeling the Laura Mercier side might look a little cakier which I'm really, really surprised about. Like Maybelline, Laura Mercier. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is go ahead and apply the rest of my makeup and then I'm gonna come back. I don't think I'm gonna be able to do a check-in today because I'm not going to be home all day, but I'm gonna come back after 12 hours of wear, hopefully. Might even be 13 hours of work. Um, and we're going to see what my skin is looking like. So I will talk to you guys then. Oh, also quickly, I did a flash test yesterday. I took a bunch of photos with flash and the powder was absolutely fine. There was no kickback. Um, they looked really, really good. So yes, I do get a lot of questions about that. Damn, my skin looks so smooth. Okay, I'll be back later on, guys. All right, guys. So here for my final check-in. And I have got to tell you... <laughs> This Maybelline powder has performed just as well, if not better, than my most loved and trusted Laura Mercier. I'm just, I need to take a minute. This is almost terrifying. <laughs> okay, so here is my skin with the Maybelline powder. Now, can you see how non-oily I am looking in comparison to most of my other foundation reviews and things? Like this foundation routine it works. It seriously works. Actually, you know what? I'm going to do an updated oily skin foundation routine so you guys can learn how to do this. But like, look at this. I swear to you, it's the setting spray that makes all the difference. But sorry, I'm rambling now. I always do this. Why? But this is the side here with the Maybelline powder. It's not cakey. It's not separating. It's not breaking up. It doesn't look powdery. It doesn't look gross. Like, I feel like it looks really, really nice. And this here is the side with the Laura Mercier powder. Now, at this point, I would say they both look exactly the same. Nothing's transferred. Nothing has cake. But earlier on in the day, and I did double check with Brandon, and I got him to have a really good look at my skin in natural light. He said that this side looked really, really nice. And he didn't know which product was on what side. But he said that this side looked really, really nice. He said that this side looked quite powdery. And I was like, you're kidding. You are kidding me. Sorry, I forgot that my camera was still zoomed in and I was just talking away. <laughs> so I think I feel comfortable to say, and it terrifies me, like, it actually freaks me out. But the Maybelline Fit Me Powder is actually a really good dupe for the Laura Mercier Translucent. Now this is, what, $8? This here is like, what is it? $35, $40 US dollars? Like, there's a huge price difference between the two. Obviously a major difference is the color. The Maybelline does have a slight color cast, but it is basically translucent. I didn't find that it altered the color of my foundation or anything like that. Definitely a huge thumbs up from me, guys. I think that this is a wonderful powder. I think it works really, really well. It sets the makeup really well. It's not cakey. It's not powdery. It's not like chalky and chunky and gross. You can bake with it. You can use it with a brush. Does an amazing job at smoothing out, you know, fine lines, texture, uh, enlarged pores, all that kind of stuff on the skin does an incredible job at blurring that out, smoothing it out and making the skin look really nice and soft and velvety. And it just lasts. It lasts all day so, so well. Oh, oh! Let's do another little touch up. I'm going to use this instead of the Laura Mercier. Like, look how well it touches up too. Just like, boom, completely matte again, completely. There's honestly nothing that excites me more than finding a product that works just as well as an expensive product that's literally like one fifth of the price. Look how matte the middle of my face is again. You'd think I just applied my makeup. So thank you so much to all of you who requested me to test this powder out. I feel like I owe you like a really big thank you because now I've found something that I'm actually low-key super obsessed with. I'm going to pick it up in a couple of different shades. I'm going to get a lighter shade that I'm going to be able to use underneath my eyes for really correcting and brightening. Oh, this stuff is just so nice. Well done, Maybelline. Well done. So I hope you guys really enjoyed today's video. I hope it answered any questions that you had about the powder. If you've got any other questions, as always, please be sure to leave them in the comments down below. I will definitely get back to you. I will definitely answer them. And also, please let me know what you want to see reviewed next, whether it's a primer, a foundation, a concealer, a powder, eyeshadows, eyeliners, mascaras, whatever it is, leave your request in the comments down below. I love you guys so, so much. I hope you're all having an amazing day, and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye!